Well, Nissan has a very, very long history in connected services. We started more than 20 years ago. And since then, we offered multiple generations of this. It became part of the DNA of the car. We have a special focus on the user, and we look at what the user wants to do. For example, in the electric mobility domain, how do you plan your route based on your power consumption in the car? That's a big part of what we are focusing on uh, in Nissan Connected Services. One of the big trends in the automotive industry for connected services is artificial intelligence. There are lots of information that we can display to the user, but where do you display it, how do you display it, and when do you display it, this is all going to be decided based on artificial intelligence. And then the car will learn from you, and the car will understand your habits, and it will adapt to that. Other trend that's there is uh, augmented reality. And we showed that already at CES last year uh, with the concept we showed from invisible to visible. And this is how we use augmented reality to provide the customer and the driver with, a, with an easy way to navigate as they are driving uh, on their daily, daily commute. So that's a very important trend also that we see coming very quickly. The last trend I want to talk about it is the infusion of the experience outside the car and inside the car. Uh, you are doing so many things at your home, at your work, while you are walking, and then as you get in the car, that experience we would like to have a continuity as you get in the car and use this inside the car uh, so you can continue your digital life experience as you get inside the car. These are some of the trends that control the connected experience today in the automotive industry.